Holocaust for fear that the topic might offend or upset Muslim students. Joining us now, the author of the book, Because They Hate, a survivor of Islamic terror warns America, Brigitte Gabriel. Thanks for being with us. I think to easy. All right. Does this surprise you at all that uh, in this is British, these are state schools, and they're saying Holocaust could be offensive to some people. Let's not talk about it. It is surprising because it's coming out of Britain, of all the countries in Europe. You don't expect this to be happening in Britain, maybe Sweden, maybe Denmark. But for British schools to be dropping Holocaust education because of fear of offending the Muslim students, because the Muslim students are studying a different education in Marx. So now what are we doing? We are letting Marx dictate what British schools are going to teach in their classrooms? It's absolute insanity. Does this say something about the change in the British population? Uh, it does say, uh, it does make a great statement, and you know, they did a study, uh, they did a poll uh, a few months ago uh, about Muslim, Muslims living in Britain, and they found out that 60%, 60% of Muslims living in Britain would rather live under Sharia law instead of British law. So what we are seeing right now is we are seeing the Islamization of Europe, and Britain is the pinnacle of the representation of Western civilization in Europe. And what's so alarming, Edie, is they are not only dropping Holocaust education, they are dropping the education about the Crusades and how the Crusades went and liberated Jerusalem from the Islamic invaders. Uh, this is a crime to take away education from children who are supposed to learn history so they will learn not to repeat the past so they can be better individuals for the future and they are robbing them from that education. You have a unique perspective because you grew up uh, in a Muslim country, you grew up as a Christian, you've seen what happens. Do you think there are double standards for various religions? Uh, yes, and actually I would like to make a correction. I grew up in the only majority Christian country in the Middle East which has fallen to Islamic totalitarianism. Lebanon used to be the only Christian country before Hezbollah and the Muslims took it over. And we the Christians did not pay attention, did not read the writing on the wall, and our country slipped from under our feet, and here I am today in America. We are seeing the same thing happening in Britain. Uh, you know, two years ago, people in Britain did not even know they had a problem until the bombings of the subways. And all of a sudden they woke up and we are witnessing what's going to happen to America unless we in America wake up today and decide that we are not going to allow political correctness to drag us down the same road that Europe is on right now. All right, Brigitte Gabriel, thank you very much. You've been a terrific asset in the stories that we've done on radical Islam. The book is called Because They Hate, a Survivor of Islamic Terror Warns America. Brigitte Gabriel, thanks. Thank you. In a nuclear attack, thousands of